When I found out that I received the Madame de Stille Prize in 2019, I couldn't have been more happy because I really believe that Europe today is facing a crisis, a social crisis, a political crisis, an economic crisis, and we need to rethink politics. We need to rethink what is the economy? How can we co-create it? And I feel that this prize really commemorates people like Madame Stell herself who really try to rethink the system, but in a practical way. So winning the Madame de Stell prize to me means a sense of obligation. You don't just win a prize and show up and say thank you, kiss and goodbye. You ask, what does this mean for what I need to do next? And one of the big challenges, I think, well, two of the challenges we have ahead, I think, are both the climate change problem, which we have young people like Greta and all the young people around the world, you know, uh, boycotting school for us, and we have to go out to the street, but also the data challenge. The whole question of what does it mean to say data is the new oil? What does it mean to bring European citizens together to rethink how can we co-create the space of digital capitalism in a way that actually produces inclusive growth? How can we confront climate change as an opportunity to create sustainable growth. And I think that winning this prize means that I actually have to get my hands dirty even more than I'm currently getting in order to get the job done and especially to engage with very different types of stakeholders, not just academics. The key message for my scientific work is that markets, when we think of you know, the word market, we often confuse it with the private sector. And actually what markets are, they're outcomes of how the public sector, the private sector, civil society organizations, how they are governed, but especially how they relate one to another. And so if we do want to at least pretend that we're interested, for example, in the sustainable development goals or in directing growth in such a way that it, you know, we get a more inclusive and sustainable type of capitalism, we have to take very seriously those governance issues. How do we govern public sector institutions? How do we govern private sector institutions? Could perhaps maximizing shareholder value be bringing us to the wrong kinds of markets? But especially how these different types of actors relate one to the other. What are the contracts? What are the compacts? What are the conditions in place for how they relate in all of these different domains, whether we're talking about energy, health, or data?